What's going on guys? Welcome back to Take a Hike. And today we're checking out what's in our day pack. But before we get into the pack, we have something to unveil. Winner of our North Face hat is Nick Pra. Message us on our Instagram at takeahike.co so we can ship this sweet hat to you. So let's see what's in this pack. This is the Camelback Caper 14 liter. To me, this is the best pack I could possibly have because it combines, first of all, the two liter Camelback with other essential features. So we'll start at the front. Let's see what's inside. The first essential item is bug spray. Doesn't have to be of this brand, but bug spray is huge on hiking so you don't get attacked by insects. Other things like sunscreen, emergency poncho, and sunglasses are in that front pocket. Also on the inside is this small waterproof pocket. Inside, there are electronics like you can keep your cord, a battery for your phone, and any other essential items. Lastly, in my front pocket, I have my GoPro Hero 5 Session. So the GoPro Hero 5 Session, to me, has been the best GoPro so far. Just because it's so small and compact and light, it's easy to use on hiking. Especially if you get a good handle like this, it's super easy to use. Other things like backcountry skiing, moose lock, and I mean, I attach this thing to my helmet, chest, other kind of mounts in my car, outside of my car. This thing has been through a lot and it's still almost brand new. On to the second pocket. This is gonna be mostly apparel where I like to keep all my um, kind of lighter windbreakers and rain jackets. This right here is just like a classic windbreaker. It doesn't have to be a marmot, it just is. Uh, this one is great because it's very light, very compactable, waterproof. These are all the things that you want that are for hiking. So this jacket has two pockets on the outside and then also has another pocket on the inside. Other than that, there are two kind of ventilating pockets under each armpit. That helps a lot on warmer hikes like in the spring. Also, something like this, this doesn't have to be the layer you wear right over a t-shirt. For something like a cold winter hike or maybe even a fall hike, you could wear a hoodie under this, something to keep the warmth in because this is very good for that. This jacket is perfect for putting on right before tree line because after that you're super exposed to wind and kind of cold weather. So this is what I always use when I past tree line. I can throw it on right over a sweatshirt, no problem. And then I can even put something over it if I wanted to for extra warmth. Other things are just like extra pair of socks that everyone should have when they go on a day hike because you never know if your feet are gonna get wet, even if you have waterproof boots. And then also in this pocket, snacks. Always need snacks. Snacks are the best thing in the world. I usually pack more than this, but there's only two because we just went on a shorter hike. So before we get to the most important thing about the bag, these straps are here are super handy for distributing weight. It makes it easy if you are gonna be going on a longer hike. Also, you can hook things on it, um, come around, and you do have, I usually keep this bracelet on here. It just has a compass, a whistle, flint and steel on it, kind of just a perfect hiking bracelet. And then in this front pocket, you can also unzip it, and this is where your camelback comes into play. This provides easy access to your camelback and water supply. All right, for the big reveal, hidden away, just in the back padding is the Camelback itself. This, he's, like he said before, is a two liter capacity, so that's plenty of water for a hike. This is great for something like a seven mile, eight mile loop. You won't really need to refill it at all. And since this is hidden right, right in the arm, it doesn't bother you, doesn't hit you in the face all the time. You can just pack it right up, close it up, and zip it up. I've used this pack over a dozen times, and it's never failed. Uh, we've certainly learned a few things and mistakes we've made along the way. Check out our last video for five biggest mistakes hikers make. I recommend a bag that has a camelback kind of built into it or at least a slot that has it. So it's easy access, easy to use, not too lumpy because I know it's certainly possible to just buy a camelback by itself and put it in a regular school bag. It just gets annoying. But I definitely recommend a bag similar to this to any kind of hiker from any level. I mean, you can use this hike for pretty much anything. You can go for a hike down the trail, or you could be going up the White Mountains like we do and doing like a little bit of a traverse. 
Uh, this thing is great for one day, so you can start early in the morning and late at night and have everything you need. You can put all your clothes in here, all your food in here, all your amenities that you need and not have to worry about it. Again, this is our pack, so you don't need to have the same things we do. We just wanted to let you know what we usually use. We've used this pack locally for a quick three hour hike, and then we've even traveled to the biggest mountain in New England and used this for an eight hour hike. This is just a couple ideas of ours, and you don't have to copy it exactly. We're just trying to give you some quick tips to see if you can pack your bag well. Thank you guys for tuning in to Take a Hike. Stay tuned for future videos and giveaways, as we will be doing that in the near future. All the information for this bag and some of the items inside will be in the description below along with our social media here, takeahike.co. Subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and I'd love to see you back next time. Exploring the world.